Welcome to another awesome kettlebell workout called Apocalypse. This is a strength, power, and mobility workout. Awesome workout, loved it. Nice and slow. Strength, pure strength with pure power and mobility. What do you think? Yeah, I loved it. It's my style of workout because I love snatches and I love strength and pressings. The concept is simple. We're only doing two exercises, which are? Strict press and snatch. So we're working and then we're working on mobility. Work, mobility, work, mobility. So it's kind of like an interval, heavy weights. You need a good selection of weights. Otherwise, it's not uh, possible to do this workout. You need a 1RM weight to start with. So for your strict press, it's probably different than for your snatch. 1RM means one rep max, the heaviest weight that you can do for one rep. Okay, so we're gonna start with the 1RM strict press. We're doing both sides and we got one minute to do that. So you take your time, 30 seconds to do one side, 30 seconds to do the other side. And if you're finished earlier, you go straight into your mobility work. So we got two routines for the mobility work and I'll get into those later. So after the strict press for one minute, we do routine one for two minutes. Then we go into the 1RM snatch both sides. So one rep of the snatch on each side and we have one minute to do that as well. Then we go into routine two for two minutes. As I said, I'll cover what they are in a bit. Then we increase the reps, but lower the weight. So two reps of the press, both sides, but this time we got two minutes to do it. And again, if you finish uh, earlier and you don't need the full two minutes, spend that time on the mobility work. Routine one for two minutes, then two reps of the snatch, both sides, two minutes. Then routine two. You see, there's a pattern every time. Then three reps of the shoulder press, strict shoulder press each side with a lighter weight again. So every time you go down with the weight, but up with the reps and followed by mobility work. Routine one, two minutes. Three reps of the snatch. Routine two, two minutes. Four reps of the shoulder press each side. Two minutes. Routine one. And then we end with four reps of the snatch each side. And that's it. So the routines that we're using for mobility to work on flexibility, everything else. So routine one is the downward dog into child's pose into quad stretch. So we're working on the quads, we're working on the hips, we're working on the ankles even with the quad stretch. Check out the technique video and we'll explain exactly how to do all that. The downward dog works on your back, your shoulders, your hips. Then routine two, we're doing shoulder circles working on the scapula of the shoulder, alternating lateral thoracic flexion with arm over, so we're working on the thoracic spine, into a deep squat. Again, all this is explained in the technique videos, and we also got alternatives and progressions that explain exactly what to do when you can't do a full snatch, or you can't do a half snatch, or you can't strict press your heaviest weight. It's all explained in the alternatives and progressions. Now, for the warm up. We have. We have alternating press knee to elbow, alternating Frankenstein kicks, and then deep squats. We do for 90 seconds, and then light alternating half snatch for 90 seconds, and we do two cycles. So that's six minutes all up. After that, we do the prep work and then the workout. So um, it's really, really good. You've got your mix of your, your slow moves, and then you go back and into your power moves. Although you've got your mobility in between, so it's a good um. It's a good selection of what we do to give the body just enough recovery to get bang into those snatches. Yeah, so rather than going, you know, heavy, 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 and next step, heavy, heavy, we got in between where we're working on the body. We're giving back to it from what we've taken. And we're just making sure that we're ready for the next set and are really fresh rather than tearing ourselves down continuously in the workout. So it's strength, mobility, power, mobility, repeat the cycle. Love it. 